Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how I take my medium length hair and transform it into this super cute A-line bob cut. So here's my hair before. As you can see, my ends are pretty dull and dry, hence is why I'm going in for this kneaded cut. So to start off, I'm going to section my hair into three sections, two on the sides and one on the back. So I'm taking my part from the top of my head all the way down to the back of my ear. The reason why I'm sectioning my hair like this is because I want the sides of my hair to be longer than the back and that is going to create this A-line bob look. So with the ponytail at the back, this is going to be my guide as to how short I want my hair to be. So make sure to tie the ponytail as low and as close to the neck as possible. This will create that straight blunt look that I'm somewhat going for. Now I'm just sliding the hair tie down a little bit on the ponytail because um, I don't want my hair to be that short. The hair tie is pretty much going to act as a guide as to how short I want my hair to be. So I'm just sliding it down a little bit more and I found the perfect length. So now I'm going to be going in with a good pair of shears and I'm just cutting it right underneath that ponytail. As you can see, the cut is not perfect the first time around, so I'm just going in with my scissors once again and cleaning up that cut a bit. If you want to go for an even more blunt cut, grab a shaver and shave the ends of that ponytail. This definitely makes the whole process a lot easier for cleaning up, but if you're using this technique, just be extra careful. Now it's time to release the ponytails and go in for the rest of the cut. Now to work with the sides of my hair, I'm just taking a razor and tapering it off to blend in with the rest of my hair. So I'm just razoring it in a downward angle motion to give it that longer look on the sides. Now I'm just grabbing some hair from the back and just tapering the ends to give it more of a softer blended look. Now I'm pretty much going to repeat the same technique around the rest of my hair. I'm just going to be grabbing random sections and just tapering the ends off until I get that desired look that I'm aiming for. To give my hair a little bit more movement, I'm just going to pull my hair out to the sides and just razor that off. This is going to create a little bit of a softer layer throughout the hair and a little bit more volume. So just a little bit of a disclaimer, I just wanted to mention I'm nowhere near a hair professional and the techniques that I'm using on my hair are just techniques that work for me. So I know I'm probably going to get some smack from other professionals out there saying that this is not how you do an A-line cut, which I know. I'm just simply sharing with you the sherry way of creating this look. So if you're watching this, I'm pretty much just sharing with you how I specifically created this look on myself. And if you want to try it out, go right ahead. And if it worked for you, then you're welcome guys. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is I'm just pulling my hair all the way up to create more layers and to get rid of those harsh edges. So to cut the layers, I'm just using a point cut technique so that the layers are not going to be too blunt. Now I'm just going to repeat the same layering technique around my whole head. Okay guys, so I'm almost done with the cut. I'm just going back with my razor to make sure that the whole cut looks well blended and that the finished look is something that I am comfortable with. Now I'm just making sure that everything is even on both sides and that is pretty much it guys. So here is the completed look. I hope you guys like it. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.